talking about uh, reference number. And which is some uh, teachers like to call it reference point. Let me put that in parentheses. Reference point does not matter what we call it. And uh, so if you are given a point, say, and we're representing that point by say t, then the reference point is t tilde. So t tilde. Some textbook have it as t hat. It doesn't really matter what we call it. What's the idea here? The idea here is that if we do have, if a t such that t is outside of quadrant one, we can bring it back to quadrant one and use the information that we have in quadrant one. Uh, most of the time it makes our lives very much easier. Suppose I have t equals, suppose I have, so let's put here example. Suppose I have t equals to five pi over six. Five pi over six is one sixth of a pi short of complete pi. So I'm somewhere in here. So this is five pi over six. Then what is t tilde? Okay. In other words, what is this distance in here between five pi over six and the x axis? Well, from the picture, you can clearly see that the distance is pi over six. You can also use algebra and say that you have pi minus pi over six, uh, pi minus, sorry about that, five pi over six. And that gives me pi over six. What makes that so useful? It's so useful because now I'm going to look at uh, pi over six or 30 degrees in here and claim that the cosine of phi pi over six, cosine is negative root three over two since cosine is negative in quadrant two and the value of the sine is one half. So that's the idea to bring the, uh, the T back to quadrant one and use what we know in quadrant one. Let's do, let me clear this up and uh, do another example. Suppose this time, okay. And I guess I could just clear that out. Suppose I have this time uh, t equals seven pi over six. So t equals seven pi over six. This time t is in quadrant three, one pi and one sixth of a pi. So I'm somewhere in here. So I have seven pi over six over here. What's the nearest distance to x axis? Again, it's pi over six. So I'm going to look up here for pi over six and say that the cosine value for this is going to be negative root three over two because in quadrant three, cosine is negative and sine is negative. And how can I show that in terms of algebra? I can say that uh, t tilde equals to um, uh, seven pi over six minus pi, and that gives me just again, pi over six. Okay, 
let's show another example, something other than quadrant two. So I'm gonna, let's have, Let's this time have um, t equals 11 pi over 3, 11 pi over 3. I don't know about you, but it like to make my life easier and say that, okay, this is the same as t equals to two pi plus five pi over three, and totally ignore this two pi. Five pi over three lands in here. What's this distance in here, but nearest distance between five pi over three, which was the same as the same as 11 pi over three. So what is this distance right here? I can look at this and clearly, it's clear to me that it's pi over three. So how can I use that information? Now I know that uh, the value of cosine, the value of cosine for this is going to be um, positive one half. And the value of sine is negative root three over two, just by, by looking at my 60 degrees or my pi over three. How can I show my t tilde algebraically? I can say that t tilde equals to two pi minus five pi over three equals pi over three. Or if you are directly working with 11 pi over three, you can say that t tilde equals four pi minus uh, original 11 pi over three. So four pi is the same as 12 pi over three, then it gives me just pi over three. It doesn't matter. You're better off to do a, you know, a circle and decide, see it right in front of your face. It's so much better than to memorizing how can I get to the correct answer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do, change the value of t again. Let's have it this time as negative seven pi over four. Let's have, oh, let me just clear this off. So. Suppose I have negative seven pi over four. I have to be careful with this because when it's negative, then now I have to go uh, clockwise. So I have to go one pi and one third of a pi, okay? So going this direction, starting from here, going to this, this direction, Here's my one pi and then three fourths of a pi. Uh, I'm gonna land on uh, 45 degrees, which is uh, pi over four, okay. So I can say that my T tilde equals to two pi minus seven pi over four, and that equals to pi over four. And so since I'm landing in quadrant one, then I know that the value of uh, cosine is root two over two, and the value of sine is square root of two over two as well. So this one wasn't too bad. Let me see if I have one that is like a number. Yes, I do. Uh, a number versus as opposed as like, um, what I mean is something without the pi. So suppose we have t equals to negative two. What does that mean? t equals negative two 
I know that's negative two radian. So again, I'm going uh, clockwise because it's negative. I know in here, I have negative roughly 3.14, right? Because negative pi. So negative two must be somewhere in here. And I have to find this distance, this distance right here. Okay, so what's t tilde equals to pi minus two, whatever that, you know. And, and since most of the textbooks, since pi is irrational number, they just leave it at pi over two. So t tilde, which is your reference point or reference number is just pi minus two. Okay, so some of you look at this and you say, well, I don't have anything really to use in quadrant one to figure out the value of uh, cosine and sine for, uh, for t, but it's okay. I mean, the objective now is to find the reference point. So let's do one last example. Suppose I have this time t equals to mm, positive five. Just looking at the values that were emailed to me. So uh, let me get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, and t equals to five, positive five. So this time I have to go positive uh, counterclockwise. So what does that mean? That means that if I start from here, when I'm, and I come here, and I come here, and I come here, here I hit roughly 3.14 or one, you know, or one pi. So five, okay, and I know two pi is roughly 6.28. So five lands somewhere in that neighborhood. I don't have to know it exactly. Okay, what is t, what is my reference point? Or t tilde equals two pi minus five. Two pi being all this one complete revolution. And if I subtract this five that I, you know, I kept moving from here, then that gives me this right here, which is the value of my reference point. Well, I hope you found this helpful and thank you.